gives me chills. And we want to present him an award from the Voices of Latin Rock. And he will be up here with his band Spellbinder. Michael Shree. And to present Michael the award, I'd like to bring up one of his band members that day. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Carlos Santana. Buenas noches. This is a great honor for me to uh, introduce oh and give this uh, prestigious award to a person who, when I first came from came here from Tijuana, uh, there was another Michael and Michael. Uh, hey. Um, you know, the reason things are the way they are in California is because you don't shut the hell up when somebody says something important. And it's not just me, you know, and there's that's like, you know, when, the, when Cesar Chavez or Dolores Huerta speak, you know, a lot of people will be talking. Shut the hell up and listen to when something, someone's trying to say something that is really validating all of us who we are and what we become. It's important that you listen. You know what I mean? Because it's important for us to celebrate and validate and really uh, take, the, take the time to honor the contribution that we have given to this nation. You know? Because we don't let anybody reduce us to a Taco Bell little Chihuahua boy, you know? Okay. Now that I got your attention is when I first came here from Tijuana, there was a couple of Michaels. Michael... Carabello, Michael Shreves, who turned me on to a whole other dimension of music than, uh, at that time, we call it Musica Tropical. There wasn't no salsa, there wasn't, you know, uh, it was, uh, yeah, Musica Tropical. And so I came here listening to B.B. King and Tito Puente, but Michael Shreves turned me on to Miles Davis and Coltrane. He actually, he actually did. So I always take the time to validate and, and offer my gratitude because he opened up a whole new dimension for my heart to understand that there's another way for us to accept being totality and absoluteness, not just the little Mexican, you know? We, we are absolute totality and absoluteness. We are part of this whole planet, you know? And if you... This is 2010, and this is the best part of being alive because we get to witness, we get to witness a real healing. What, what happens in tsunamis or Katrina or Haiti is for us to learn to take care of one another without the Pope's help, because he's not gonna help. Without the President's help, he's gonna help a little bit until we put the pressure. But we are the ones that we take care of one another. You know? This is about that because this is what I learned. I learned from Cesar Chavez, the Lord of Huerta, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, the Black Panthers, uh, Peace and Freedom. And at the same time, I learned from all this music. So this is who Michael uh, Shreves and I are. You know, we're not just like a drummer or a guitar player. We're more than that. You know, we, we utilize what God gave us to come to Jerusalem or wherever we go and bring unity and harmony and healing and a sense of compassion because this is, this is the passport for the next future is compassion, kindness, generosity. I want to go back to my friend Michael Shreves and say that I'm very grateful to him because all through the years uh, co-sharing on the phone, when my phone rings and it used to be Bill Graham or, my, or Miles Davis. It was Michael Shreves also with that, uh, helping me to understand that you need to unfold your wings. Here's your wings. Willingness and allowing 
allowing willingness. Don't get stuck with saying, a be, a, don't get stuck being a victim or, or a villain. Let's claim victory of spirit. This is for Michael Shreves, and I celebrate and I validate his spirit because he truly is. When I saw him play a solo on Woodstock, all the hippies were like, damn. You know, people are like, oh. <laughs> and, uh, you know, because Michael was listening to Max Roach, you know, and Elvin Jones, and Tony Williams. He wasn't just listening to, like, you know, whatever, you know. I mean, when, when he played a solo, people were like, oh. <laughs> you know, and so I'm very honored to have shared this dimension of Woodstock and one of the best solos by one of the greatest persons, Mr. Michael Shreves. Thank you so much. Carlos, thank you for your very kind words. He's got a way of saying stuff, doesn't he? Yeah, thank you so much. I can't tell you what this uh, what this award means to me. Is, is this the uh, Armando Parata? Is, this, is that what this is? Yes, okay. I just wanted to make sure before I said anything that has to do with Armando Parata and I'm being given it, I'm, I, am, I am greatly honored. And um, it means especially a lot for me uh, coming from 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 this community here, which I have derived so much, and uh, I want to thank Woo! you guys for all that I have learned from you. And I, and I really but the circle keeps going, so um, it's always uh, a pleasure to come to this event here and see so many musicians and. Uh, and also meet so many musicians that I've heard for so many years and never really had a chance to meet, even though we sort of play in the same circles. A lot of, a lot of people think, oh, they all know each other. And in some ways it's true, and in some ways I just meet people tonight who I, I, you know, I've been listening to for 30, 40 years as well. Anyway, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. And um, God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. And I want to thank Carlos for coming out and helping us out. And Michael the award. You know, like I said, uh, you know, every band that uh, has ever seen that Woodstock movie, I think that's what Latin rock is all about. That was the pinnacle. Uh, soul sacrifice. Every band is trying to reach whatever that is. And, uh, and now we want to bring on uh, Michael's band. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed it. We heard him at Soundcheck today, and he got an awesome sound. Let's bring on Spellbinder.